Hey guys, Camille Lambert, field agronomist for Kentucky and Southern Indiana. I'm at our Effingham, Illinois location and we just wrapped Herbicide Insight Day up. We've got all this really good information and so we want to make sure that you guys got to see it. So I'm standing in front of our zero rye uh, rates here. So we planted three different rates. I've got 30 pounds, 60 pounds, and 90 pounds. Looking at if we can suppress weeds and if we can, what rate is the optimal rate? So uh, behind me right here, I've got 30 pounds of cereal rye. Uh, this is going to be more of your soil conservation type rate. So when we bump it up to 60 and 90 pounds, we get a lot thicker residue out here. We've got a lot of biomass. So what we found, we actually sent some interns out with little square feet and they measured how many water hemp plants were able to come through because we've got a lot of shade from this biomass and shade is one of the very best weed control methods that we've got. So how many water hemp escapes were able to pop through? Uh, and what we found is on the lower rate, the 30 pounds, we had four and a half ish uh, water hemp plants per square foot. But when we bump up to 60 and 90 pounds, we only have one and a half water hemp plants in a square foot. So we're not seeing a huge difference between those two. We do get a lot of good weed suppression from this biomass that we have out here. So just one of the really good considerations that you guys need to think about when you're thinking about adding cover crops to your operation. Thanks.